we're in the refugee camp called Balukali. There's over 500,000 refugees here. Just think about that for a second. 500,000, we're just surrounded by these makeshift tents at the moment. Not only have they got lack of food, lack of water, lack of toilets, lack of clothing, but they've actually seen their belongings and their home be burnt to the ground. Yesterday that she came and still she had no pen. She don't know how, how they, she can manage and uh, the baby is only 10 to 12 days. Her uh, husband was slaughtered there. She just uh, came with the group. She really don't know. I've got a young child as well and he's um, uh, just turned one and you know, I can't imagine him ever being in a situation anything like this. That's why we're documenting this. The chances of that baby are very slim. Very, very slim. 80,000 um, women are pregnant here in the camps. When, when, when the whole conflict started in Burma, the majority of them were raped. They are actually carrying the kid because of, because of rape. And now look where they're living. There's no justice here at the moment. Uh, and that's why we, they need our help, man. Because those babies are probably gonna, not going to make it, man. How can, they, how can they survive in this situation? But there's got to be some hope, and, and we're the hope. 2,900 people already supported in wow. this camp. Wow. Fever, diarrhea, and skin disease. Yeah. And a lot of pregnant women. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The regular team, they are providing the health checkup and uh, free medicine. Okay. He arrived today. A boy born uh, just 15 days. He is now getting breast milk. You see, this is the situation. This is the common situation here. A lot of medicine is required. Yeah. Some medicine is uh, very expensive. Yeah. Maybe they need two bottles mm -hmm. for to food the full course. This is a child friendly space. Okay. 320 students. 320? Yeah. And they learn here, yeah? Yeah, yeah learning here. Teachers from Bangladesh from Thuruni. Both. Oh, okay. Both. They're learning uh, Myanmar language, English, Arabic and math. Genuinely, I'm not sure what these people would be doing without Penny Field. It's nowhere near as good as what they had when they had their homes. But since their homes are burnt down and they've been thrown into a jungle, the water pumps that I've seen here, the wells, you know, the clothing that's been donated, the food, they can actually go to the toilet and be safe and be clean. It's all making a big difference. But I still think we need to do a lot better. We need to do a lot better. And we cannot do it without your help. It's very basic to us, but to them, it's completely life-changing. So please, 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 pick up the phone or get online and donate. Thank you.